Today we're going to convert this child's pedal bike to a strider bike, otherwise known as a balance bike. A balance bike is a great way to start to train a child how to ride a bike. Here's the basic tools you'll need for almost any child size bike. There's a 15 and a 13 millimeter wrench, flathead screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, a crescent wrench. I've got two different sizes because I'm not sure how much leverage I'll need to put on the nut that I have to loosen. And I recommend some kind of penetrating oil like WD-40 or liquid wrench in case you have a stubborn nut or bolt that doesn't want to cooperate. We're going to start on the left side of the bike, the side opposite where the chain is, and we're going to remove the pedal. To do that we need the 15 millimeter wrench and it goes over the end of the pedal like this. The old saying is righty tighty, lefty loosey, but that doesn't hold true on the left pedal of a bike. To loosen this pedal you have to turn it clockwise. So righty loosey. This one's on there pretty tight so I'm going to spray some WD-40 on it. I'm going to put a towel under it and put a little more on there just to loosen it up. Let it soak in a little bit. Try it again and it's coming off really easy now. And after a few turns you can just untighten it by hand and just take that pedal off and set it aside. Now that we have the pedal off we're going to go to the other end of the pedal shaft and remove this retaining nut and we're going to use the crescent wrench to do that. And this one also removes by turning it clockwise. The other connection was a little tight so I'm going to go ahead and put some WD-40 on this too. And I'm going to put a screwdriver in through here to kind of hold it as I try to turn it. Our WD-40 is really coming through today. And I'm going to go ahead and just loosen it the rest of the way by hand. And we're going to pull that all the way off and set that aside. And the pieces I take off, I'm putting them together in the order that they were on there. So do that as you go along. We want to keep these pieces together in the right order because we may want to put these pedals back on at some point in the future. Next, remove this spacer. Should be able just to pry that out and pull that all the way off. And then we're going to remove this spanner nut. It's got a little place right there where a flathead screwdriver will fit in and you just spin it clockwise again and at this point I can just do that with my finger if you don't mind getting your fingers a little dirty and with that loose take that off and what we've got showing there now inside are the bearings and with the help of this screwdriver we're going to take those out and take those off the end of the shaft and now the shaft on this side, the left side, is really loose. So we're going to flip the bike around and work on the right side. We've got the bike flipped around, we're looking at the right side, and we're going to remove this chain guard. And you could do that the very first thing before you even started this job, but I'm going to wait and do everything on the right side now. On this chain guard there's a Phillips screw back here that we need to loosen, and there's another Phillips head screw up under the frame to loosen too. With the chain guard out of the way, I'm going to take the chain off of around the crank, pull that over the pedal, and put it out of the way. Now we're going to pull the shaft through the frame and all the way out. And that's just a matter of working it up and down and around because of course it is bent down on the other side, but you can do it, you can get it through there if you just work at it. And there's the other ball bearings, I'm going to pull those out of the way first. And then we just pull it down and around and it's out. And now that I've got that out and the ball bearings are still on there, I'm going to put the other pieces back onto that assembly and even put the pedal back on. On this bike this is what we have left to deal with. We need to get the training wheels off and get that chain off. So we're going to have to loosen that bolt right there. That one looks a little rusty and fixed so we're going to use some more WD-40. And you'll need the 15 millimeter wrench to loosen these up. And you loosen these up by turning counterclockwise take this bolt all the way off. Then you can remove the training wheel. Both training wheels are off. Now you'll notice that this chain is still wrapped around the frame. And you could go ahead and use the bike like this. You would just want to take this chain and secure it around the frame with duct tape, wire, something like that that would keep it out of the way of the rider. But for this bike I am going to take the chain off. And this chain has a special link on it 
where if you pry this part up, you can remove that link and take it off of the bike. So that's what I'm going to do. But just in case I want to put the chain back on later, I'm going to save all the pieces. And I'm going to put that link back in the chain. And if you don't have a chain that has an easily removable link like that, you can always go online or to a bike shop and buy a special chain tool that will help you remove the chain. Depending on how your bike is made, you may be able to take the chain off completely just by removing the back wheel, in which case you would loosen the bolts on both sides, pull the wheel back, take the chain off, and then put the wheel back on. And if you're going to take off the rear wheel, you'll also have to loosen the coaster brake where it's attached to the frame because the coaster brake is attached to the wheel. And I'm going to put the chain guard back on just for looks. Here's all the extra parts that I took off. I'm going to put those away and save them in case we ever want to put this bike back together and make it a pedal bike. And there it is, our newly converted balance bike. It's ready to help someone learn to ride a bike and it was a simple project to do. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and ride safe.